Hello and welcome to Global Data 365. In this lesson, we will learn how to create hidden filter menu in Power BI. Here is a dashboard with no filters, but there is an icon on top left, which we want to act as a button to open filter pane where we can show all the slicers. To do that, firstly you need to insert a shape to create a blur background. Expand the shape on top of entire dashboard. Change the color to black in. Set the transparency to 50%. Now insert another shape for filter area. Place it vertical, next to the filter icon. Change the color according to your dashboard theme. Now go to the View tab and open Bookmarks and Selection Panes. The Selection Pane shows you each item in layer order. Rename them to keep track of each item. Now start inserting slicers into the dashboard. Resize the slicer to fit within the filter area. The first slicer we'll put here is of the company. Go to Design tab, and change the format to suit the dashboard theme. Now copy and paste the slicer and change the field from Company to Item Division. Copy another slicer to add to your filter. Now test the slicer to check if they are working. Now insert a text box and type filters and place it on the top center. Now once your filter pane is ready, you need to place all the items related to filter pane into one group so you can make them visible and hidden with just one click. Name the group as filter pane and test it by clicking on the eye icon next to it. Now go to bookmarks pane and create a bookmark while the filter pane is visible. Name this bookmark as Open Filter. Create another bookmark and name it as Close Filter. Now these two bookmarks will act as viewing and hiding the filter pane. Next is to create a button that trigger these bookmarks. For opening the filter pane, we will insert a blank button on top of the filter icon on our dashboard. Then go to the action option and set it to bookmark named Open Filter. Now test the button to see if it is working. The button opens the filter pane. But now we don't have a button to close the filter pane. Therefore, go to the buttons and insert back button and place it inside the filter pane, next to filters heading. Go to the icon format and change the line color to white. Now go to the actions option and set it to bookmark name close filter. Test the button and see if it is working. You can see that the filter pane is closed but the close button remains on the dashboard. This is because the close button is not inside the filter pane group. Go to the selection pane and drag the close button and drop into the filter pane group. This should solve the issue and the closed button is no longer visible. Now there is still one problem that you can see. If you open the filter pane and apply any filter and close the filter pane, the report doesn't save the filter. This is because the bookmark is also saving the data when it was created. To solve this, open the bookmark option and uncheck data. Now test again and the slicers will now work properly. Now suppose we need another button that can reset all filters applied on the dashboard. For this, firstly we need to go to buttons and insert a reset button. This time we will place it outside the filter area so that we can reset the filter without opening the filter pane. Once the button is ready, you need to create a new bookmark without any filter. For this, go to all slicers and remove the selections. And then to add a new bookmark and name it no filter. Make sure that the data option is checked for this bookmark. Now select the button, go to the actions option and select the bookmark just created. Now test the reset button to see if it works properly. The hidden filter is now ready on your dashboard. Thank you for watching. To learn more, visit our website at www.globaldata365.com.